Boy, girl, I buy this thing for you. You must use it. You must do it. Hey, mommy, buy this e-learning program for you. You better finish it. You must do all the exercise. Every day must do it. You don't do it, I will beat you. If you're trying to introduce your son or daughter into e-learning, you might run into issues. Maybe you're running into issues where I don't. they don't want to use it. They are not interested to learn, okay? I'm going to show you what the problems are and what you can do as a parent to introduce the concept of e-learning to your kids. Just a quick introduction, I'm Sean Louis, I'm an ambassador at BKids Trend and we are helping hundreds and hundreds of children every single month to improve in their education using an effective method. Okay, last time we last time we study about two to three hours per day, now only just 10 to 20 minutes per day only, okay? But maybe you are thinking, okay, e-learning is good, I want to try this for my kids as well, but somehow they are just not interested to learn, or maybe uh, even though even though I want them to do it. They just don't like it, okay? So what are the problems that we are facing? What are the problems? What actually happened? So in this video, I'm going to show you what actually happened and what you can do as a parent. So over the course of my career in BK Strand, I have dealt with hundreds and hundreds of children. Now there are two different groups of children, okay? The first group are children who are like, okay, I want to do it. I like e-learning very much. I want to do it. I can't wait to use it. But on the other hand, there, are, there is a group of children who no matter what method you choose, whether it's books or exercise or revision or tuition or e-learning, they are just not they are just not interested to learn, okay? And if you are the parent of a child who is not interested to learn, and today we are going to talk about e-learning. So how do you introduce e-learning to your children if they are just not keen? Okay, here's how we're going to do it. Now, one thing I noticed after dealing with so many children, especially dealing with a lot of parents, right? The one thing I want you to understand is it is not about the children. <laughs> it is nothing wrong with the kids. How is it that one, one group of children is willing to learn, another group of children is not willing to learn? It all boils down to us as parents. Okay, it's your problem, it's not the children's problem, it's our problem as parents. So what we're going to talk about first, from these two groups of children, the ones who like it, the ones who don't want to use it, let's talk about the ones who do not want to use it first. Okay, I've noticed that parents play a very important role when it comes to the children's education. Whether the children is interested or not, usually it's, uh, usually it's also due to the parents as well, okay? Now, when we're talking about e-learning, we do have solutions to provide, we do have solutions to encourage your children to study efficiently using uh, gadgets, uh, their phone, their tablets, or even uh, like this uh, laptop here as well, okay? But one of, uh, I noticed that parents, how they introduce the method of introducing the program or the, the method of introducing the solution to their children will determine whether the child accepts it or not okay so i'm going to talk about the group of children who are not interested and what what happened what did the parents do such that the kids are not interested okay now the parents who want the best for their children i believe you are here because you want the best for the, your children as well so the parents who want to use e-learning for the kids but somehow get a negative response I noticed a negative approach. So please, uh, please pay attention because this is what you do not want to do. So I know this is what I'm noticing from parents. Uh, so for the children who do not want to use uh, e-learning, this is what I notice how the parents do it. Okay, boy, girl, I buy this thing for you. You must use it. Uh, you must do it. Uh. Hey, mommy, buy this e-learning program for you. You better finish it. Uh, you must do all the exercise. Uh. Every day must do what you don't do, I will beat you up. Huh? Okay, so, so, these, so these are the things that uh, parents do. These are the things that uh, these are the things that moms and dads or parents do to you know to they do they want the best for the kids but somehow when they do that the children's like oh no man I don't want to do that like ah oh, this is suffering this I don't want to do this okay so it's all on the parents so do not be that parent I know naturally we were brought up in that environment where our parents are like, you don't do it you don't do it see I beat you up okay no, we don't do that don't do that now times have changed huh? we try to improve ourselves okay now on the other hand children who wants to use our program. Now this one, this is how the parents say it, or this is how we as uh, consultants, we this is how we introduce it to them as well. So okay, you ready? So this is how we do it. Hey boy, girl, I got something nice. Uh, I got something for you to try. Try and see. Okay, maybe it can help you in your studies. This one way. Or hey, uh, or if, let's say your children is very, uh, very young. Let's say your children is very young. What you can do is, uh, hey, I got something for you to play. Come, I give you something to play. So use words like play. Uh, make sure there's no pressure. Okay, don't force. Just like. 
slowly ease them into the process okay <laughs> don't force them uh yeah so this is pretty much a short tip like how you you can introduce uh, e-learning to your kids it's very important how you approach do not be the forceful parent okay do not do not be the forceful parent where they're like ah oh, you must do it uh. be the parent who's enrolling okay enrolling is like uh, come lah come i come i let you try this one come i let you play this program come i let you try this uh, game or something okay come and let you see this video right so this is how you can introduce your children into e-learning very effective parents parents please do not force okay your kids whether your kids are interested to learn or not depends on you okay on you so that's about it for this video and if you like to try our e-learning program you can try it for free for 5 days through this e-learning program we've helped a lot of children prepare for their UPSR for their PT3 or for their SPM to study better to to study efficiently okay uh, no need to study for 2 3 hours per day using the platform using the materials that we have come up with they just need to study for about 10 20 minutes per subject every single day okay that's about it don't force keep it simple that's what our program is for you can try it for free the, the link to try our program is in the description okay just look down there below the video somewhere there is a description to try for free so go there and give it a shot if you like it right you can subscribe as well we will have some very special bonuses very special offers for you uh, which you will not get anywhere else it's just from us uh, it will be from me Sean Lee and my wife as well Crystal Wong if you are, if you haven't yet go subscribe to her channel or follow her on Facebook okay anyways try for free you can, if you want you can try our e-learning program for free or let's say if you want to join us to reach out to more children all over Malaysia to help them in their studies to help them prepare for UPSR PT3 or SPM at the same time we are also helping parents to reduce their financial burden we are reducing their education costs so how do we do that yeah if this is what you want to do you can also apply to join us uh, the link will be in the description it should be joincrystalshawn.com that's my wife okay so anyways very short video on how to introduce e-learning to your children do not force them okay use the change the words that you use it will change the outcome uh, that's it from me for today uh, Uh, hopefully you like it hopefully you found this helpful if it did let me know in the comments okay let me know you watched it you like it and maybe if you have if you want any more tips uh, regarding your children or the way they learn or maybe study techniques or you know just let me know what would you like to see next okay so anyways you feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel feel free to follow me on facebook and i will see you in the next video bye bye